Greetings and salutations, friends. Welcome back to Blood Bowl BBL ANZ style. We are back for another Enzac 3 Open League game with my 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 team, the Harun Gazar Greenskins. We have a new addition in the form of a hobgoblin named Pennywise the Lurker from the acclaimed movie It, which shall be coming out and staring the socks off everyone real soon. That being said and done, we shall start spinning and start looking for our opponent, Zabrastic. Hope I'm pronouncing that properly. <laughs> Just chatting to Zabrastic while we wait for the spinning to end. <coughs> He's just asking some questions, and I'm just answering them. And failing badly at spelling Australia. <laughs> so yes, he's, he's new to the game, I'm told. Uh, he's only done a few games. So... So, yeah, uh, we shall see how we go. He's uh, expecting to lose. I'm, I might be able to show him just how bad I am sometimes at this game, and I might lose instead. That's the nature of Blood Bowl. You never can tell who's going to win and who's going to lose. Unless, of course, you're playing Spoon Man. Then you really lose all the time. Hmm. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to mute myself and potter around a little. And uh, when we find one another, I shall unmute it and we shall get on with the game. See you soon. Heads up, people. I'm back. And here we go. The bird basher. Oh, oh, orcs. This will be interesting. It's going to be a sea of green skins out there. I do like the choice of blue, the pink and black. Good color combination, that one. Indeed, we are up. Um, just doing his shopping and then I'll do mine. If I have any shopping, that is. And having the lowest team value, your team has 110,000 in the kitty. That's lovely. Orcs equal injuries. Injuries equal bad. So we'll take an apothecary. And I'm done. Too easy. And the game is afoot. Let's see if we can get through this. Did you know last year the Galadrius Gladiators High Elf team accumulated a record of 853 passes in 24 games without an interception? Eventually succumbing to the fellow High Elves, the Kalidor Dragons remarkably also suffered their first interception of the last year in the same game after 620 passes. In fact, many High Elf teams suffer a very low interception rate while the High Elves point to their natural skill and ability at the passing game, we're more inclined to believe it's bags of gold sitting at the side of the High Elves dugouts waiting and we think it right to us that who cares? Because it's High Elves. The Grindhouse. Back at my home stadium yet again. On the concrete floor. Awaiting. There they are. All my boys. Couldn't point them out to you. Well, I think number 12 is Pennywise. Ooh, he's got a troll. And a bunch of black orcs. And a bunch of other orcs. They look dead hard. In their pink and black outfits. Do love that outfit. I do like it. 
Pink and black is awesome. Pink being the color of male virility, if, in case you didn't know that already. Yes, little baby boys were often dressed in pink up until about the 1920s. They ran out of pink in the war. Nah, that's not true. Um, a burgeoning um, feminist rights movement started saying that they wanted pink for their little girls. And by the 1950s, they stole pink off us. Male privilege. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm setting up in defense. Looks pretty good to me, and we've got block on the Terminator now. So, expecting good things from the team. Do our best to welcome the new fella. It's a space open. Good luck. Have fun. And... Be amazed at my luck. Now placing his team, I'm thinking I might have a few skills, so let's have a quick look around. Almost, I thought, oh, that was quick. I'll make him work for it. Oh, Cranky Ball suffers an injury. Ah, oh, bloody Orc supporters. <laughs> you know, I am telling you, I've got bad luck, <laughs> and that happens. <laughs> Truly amazing stuff. So he's coming along. Oh, that's a journeyman. I don't see any star player points, it's just the sheer. Co oh. Oh no, he just start he's a blitzer, it starts with block. Fair enough. Don't forget, if you see the animation, bad things come after the animation. Could be stun, it could be death. So far, so good. <laughs> oh! Oh! There goes a the reroll. That was almost not good enough either. I happen to have some leftover stuff from my birthday, such as Pepsi. Which I think I'm going to retrieve from my fridge, which is located right here. If only my wife wasn't stacking stuff in front of the fridge, I'd be happy to get that Pepsi out. Mm. Oh, pods. Minty flavoured pods. Take a few of those too. You're going to have to listen to me crunch them up, I'm afraid. To the game. Mmm, minty goodness. Now then, what are we doing? Normal guy? That's a guy. Hmm. And Grinch goes in for a hit. Hmm. 
knocks him to the ground. Well, that didn't work out so well. <laughs> Back to you. Oh, you got a different name for a coach. Zebralicious. <laughs> I'm guessing he likes zebras. So far they're holding the line rather well. Oh, the ball's down. Okay, goblin. Can't wait for the goblin teams to come out in September. Yes, you heard it here. Probably not first. The um, Legendary Edition will be coming out in September. For those of us already blessed with the game, we'll get an expansion pack. Legendary Edition expansion pack, so we don't have to buy the entire game again. Which was a bit of a schmuzzle with the original Blood Bowl game. Had to buy it all over again. This time you just buy an upgrade pack. My faith in these guys is just soaring. The way they've handled this game is brilliant. And I can't wait to play some more. With Circus... Circus Kislevyats, Amazons, Underworld teams. All sorts of goodness coming our way. Oh, time is up. Hmm, who to blitz with? I don't like that guy. Standing over there all by himself. Mess with the ball. You get the horns. Hobgoblins love picking on their little cousins. Why should now be any different? <laughs> oh, 
and flick it back to the zebra one. Slivering the swarm lizard men had zebra stripes. <laughs> yep, proud to say. <laughs> Bear with me for a sec, guys. I just I noticed my logo is missing. <laughs> Eh, it's still missing. Who cares? I'll fix that at a later date. Kind of risky, and that's why. Ouch! Down he goes. Is he going to risk using his blood bowl? Well, no, no, he uh, he learned a valuable lesson there. Maybe you don't dodge with the troll, get break tackle as a skill, and then dodge away because you use your strength as your agility, but uh, until then, you're probably best to hold off. Comes the paint train. Mighty night, sweet prince. Ooh. The thing about orcs is they're heavily armored, so you really have to work for those injuries. Ooh, that was a going for a move. I had no idea. Oh, why the hell not? Hello, little goblin. Uh, <laughs> hot goblins tend to be cowards. <laughs> Just so you know. But when they're in packs, they do some wonderful stuff together. Ooh, they're thrower. What a tasty little morsel you are. Ah, uh, I've already used my blitz action. Fine, I'll just scare him a little bit. <laughs> See what he does. See, I can scare him into dodging away and falling on his ass. This guy has little to no chance of catching the ball. And this guy, well, he's kind of lying on the ground at the moment, and he's a loner. I think I'll stay put. I think I will stay put. So, there we go. That's the way it ends for my turn four. Back to Zebralicious. Oop, 
The run is going for a run. Oh, no, he isn't. <laughs> and the reroll is used. Does it pay off? It most certainly does. Well, that's it for you. Another four turns without such a thing. Ooh, that's a risky move. And that... Ooh, ooh, that was lucky. That was lucky that he caught the ball. That was almost the end of his turn. <laughs> Oop, the other Black Orc's up. Getting some help from what looks like a Blitzer. Ooh, he's going to Blitz. That's what Blitzers do, I guess. And that's good. We can use that dice. Down I go. Oh, stunned me. A nasty shot. No animation, though. Weird. We left that goblin all alone. <laughs> He's not sticking around for more. He knows what's up. He knows what the score is. Will that troll stand up? Will we find out? Ah, the other blitzer comes to throw his aid. Mork Fang. Goes for a block, maybe? And, uh, and no, he's too stupid to stand up on his own. But that guy isn't. Stands up just as just well. Very good. Dodges. Nicely done. Who's up? It's a shame. We go with him first. It's a risky move. But I go for it anyway. Oh, can't have that. He's in the thick of it now. I do like to gang up the old hobgoblins. Ooh, that's a push. Journeyman's going to cop some more, I fear. Yep. Knocks him back to the ground. And... Might as well go for it. You've got nothing to lose. So it's all joins... The Joker over the other side of the field. And I'm done. So we pass it back to the zebra one. 
There's a plastic one. And the troll's too stupid to stand up. Pro tip, always keep someone, even if it's just that little goblin, standing next to your troll. That way he seems a better chance of standing up. They need help, you see. They need someone to tell them what to do. They're stupid. Ah, uh, nice little block. Pushes him out of the way. Ooh, we got a slug fist. Going on down there. Oh, Kruger gets slammed. <laughs> Not like that, you dirty bastards. <laughs> Are they brave enough to take on my little paw? i will mute it for just a second, guys, because I need to blow my nose. Looks like he's taking another risk. Or thinking about it at the very least. He's going to go for it on the AstroTurf. Mm, that's probably a little bit better, but... Ooh! Didn't work out so well in the end. Not only that, I no longer have to worry about you. So instead... This poor unfortunate... Ooh! Lucky roll for you! I've gone wild animal, so I won't be able to knock you uh, off into the crowd. He stands up. He also stands up. And he gets a little of the Dutch carriage and... Yeah. Oh, and the little goblin fights back, knocking Zorg unconscious. I'm not using the puppetry for that. <laughs> oh, those little fellas, sometimes they really, really get some good luck. Back to the orcs. What will they do now? Ball lying on the ground. Anyone's for the taking. to the point now where I need to marshal, marshal some more forces. Still stupid. Oh, he's gone to pick the ball up. He's dropped it right into the hands of the fellow player. Getting kind of serious down here now. Need to bring some more of my friends in. One, two, three, four. Ooh, that's not a going for it move. Uh, I'm going to do the important stuff first. My goalkeeper needs to be button you. He sprints on over. Still wild. 
with all the big guys failing now. Nice hit. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, how do do that? We did it. Turned into a wild leavening beast on me. Uh, I stand more than chance with this block, actually. That wasn't meant to be. There we go. Down he goes. Meanwhile, over this side, Ada uses the force to push a gabber away. Well, yeah, they're packed in there solid now, like a pack of sardines. Let's see how he gets out of this one. Worst case scenario, I've locked him up good and proper, so. He won't be scoring. Which gives me the chance to be going on the offensive and score and maybe take the game. Doesn't happen often. And the troll comes to his senses. Get some moral support. He looks a little sleepy. <laughs> Ooh, he keeps doing the dodges with the agility two guys. That's a on a D6, that's a five plus you need to roll to successfully dodge. And unfortunately, it didn't go so well. Roll the two indeed. A two. <laughs> Off the pitch he goes. All in all. And he's stumped by the crowd. The ball flies into the heads of the troll. Oh, oh, it's all over the shop. Lovely. Oh, your time has come. Goodbye. And Walk Fang is not unconscious by the crowd. I know what you're thinking. It's a dangerous predicament I've just put myself in. So let's just get that predicament out of the way. Oh dear. Uh, not exactly what I was looking for. Oh, Gabba. <laughs> Gabba gets knocked unconscious. Turn 8. No one really in a position to score at this stage. It's just a matter of survival. <laughs> Ooh, he's up. So, maybe a little uh, tutorial lesson here for those of you watching. You may not be up to scratch on what's what. Let's take a look at this fella here. You'll see the top of box is MA. That's how far he can move in squares. One, two, three, four. 
Normally you get to go for it twice. If you roll a one, you, you fall on your ass. So that's an extra two squares for that. Strength is how strong you are compared to other people. If you're the same strength, you get to roll one block dice. If you're stronger, and he's stronger than most linemen, you get two block dice. And if you're more than three times stronger, you get three block dice. Agility determines ball skills. Picking the ball up. Oh, God. <laughs> Picking the ball up, dodging people, and so on and so forth. Keep in mind, this game is based on a tabletop game where D6s are used to determine the randomness of it all. Oh, jeez, it's off. off and running. <laughs> so, an agility of two on a D6 roll, you need a five plus to dodge. When you're dodging in a square that isn't marked by opposing players. For every opposing player in a, in a square next to the one you're dodging into, you suffer a further minus one to the dice roll. And last but not least, AV. That is how, how strong you can ward off harm. Uh, if you're knocked over, you have to make an injury roll. Uh, well, the opponent makes an injury roll. To injure this fellow, you need to roll 8 or more on 2d6. That's pretty much a rundown of how that works. Um, and now I'll get back into the game. Stand up, little fella. Oh, a nice hit. Shoes him away. And there's your three dogs. showdown coming it looks like they're getting ready to do some very bad things for that little goblin Right in the happy sack, and he's dead. <laughs> he, he kicked him so hard that his dick perforated his heart and he died. Pretty much. Pretty much. Does he have an apothecary? No. No, he uh, doesn't have an apothecary. Ouch. Ooh, a sharp, hard blow. There to the team. That was not the malicious. Uh, that was just plain old fashioned malicious. Um, I'm going to yuck it up a little bit here. I'm going to go pick up the ball. Oh, that was oh he's stupid at the moment, so he has no tackle zones whatsoever. Can we get can we get the throw off? He does, scoring himself, plus one star player points. You need six to get your first skill. And, uh, that will do me. That was a pretty fun fact. Half there, the Goblin will not be joining us for the second half of the match. As he is dead. I didn't get up. And neither did he. And neither did they. There's a lot of sleepy Toms <laughs> out there. The rest of the guys all stomp onto the field. Set my team up for attack. Don't full complement on the field at the moment? I... I do. I've got one guy out, so everyone's on the field. The field is set. Um... Oh, he's setting up for the fence while he does that. I think I'll have some more Pepsi. Rerolls are reset, so you can reuse those. I still have two apothecaries at my disposal. (laughs) 
Well, continuing along the vein, because I'm do, kind of doing this for the Zebra's benefit, he's new to the game, and you'll take that into consideration when you're playing him. Uh, this is the weather, it changes to all different things. Putting the mouse over it tells you what the weather is and if any effects are current at the moment. Perfect blah blah weather, no problems. This would be my Astro Granite, plus one on armor rolls when the player falls while going for it, which means you have a chance of injuring yourself if you try to go for it. Or GFI. If you put your marker over the thing, it tells you if they've got anything hidden under the top card. For instance, I've got two apothecaries. My one reroll. Okay, so that being what it is. Do I have any that have five? A chance. That'd be a good chance to level someone up here. Nope. Nope. And we have the same strength, so if I charge him with my horns, then I'll have a strength 6, so I'll get my 2 blocked there, so I'm going to go with that. Pennywise, the new fella on the block, can put himself back there, and they're ready to go. The Orcs, prepare to kick the ball. Ball goes high. Grand Kazar Greenskins get an extra team re-roll thanks to brilliant coaching by yours truly. Huzzah! Okay. And we're off. Important things first. And the horns come into play and the troll hits the dirt. Ooh, broke, broke his armour and he's KO'd. That's the end of him. Off he goes. Right. Good O. To advance up the field. These guys take on the, the Black Hawk. He's being marked, so he won't, he won't count. Think so. Knocks him to the ground. Pennywise heads for the ball. Oh. And drops it on the ground. Turn nine. Back to the zebra, guys. Not having anyone up in his end of the field. 
he has decided to mark my two wayward players. If I was him, I'd send the Blackhawk up there as well. They may not be good at dodging, but my god, they're good at bashing people. And you want to bash people every chance you get because the only way they really come into their own is when you start giving them some skills. Such as block and tackle and mighty blow. Yeah, attempting to get to the ball. The Terminator is looking at them rather shrewdly. Gonna try to dodge and he's successful. Let's uh, head on up. Then we have a blitz from the Black Hawk. This will be interesting. Successful block. Oh, very tapped into the ground. hit just where really it hits the dirt well damn it Back to me. Stands up. Also stands up. You should always try to stand players up before getting into the thick of it. And another one hits the dust. You shall not pass. Digs into the net. It's time to go for the risky move of picking the ball up. And it didn't go too well. But we'll see if the reroll pays off. And it doesn't. Wasted reroll. There we go. That's just nasty. <laughs> it's been quite a precarious spot, too, because. I don't have many people around that can stop you from picking that ball up and scoring it. I'm also in the precarious position of now having no further re-rolls. That was a good hit. Oh, broke the armor. A nasty thump to the top of the head. And Chucky, he's ragdoll. Ah, get it, ragdoll. <laughs> Always don't start with. Oh, it wasn't. Oh, maybe it wasn't him. 
It was. Oh, he's down the blitz. But no, he's not. We roll in play. And nope. He's down and out. I'll be one second, guys. Just bear with me. Just say good night to my lovely little daughter. Loves me daughters. Well, can't have you going down here and doing some foolish. So, that's a go for it. No, I'm not, I'm not prepared to do that. Smashes Rock Hag to the ground. And I think I'll stay. There we go. That's what you want. Yep. Yeah, uh, pushed. It ain't over yet. He's frenzied. Pennywise gets the ball successfully at last. And attempts to do a quick pass. And it's good. Oh, we're doing okay this time around. Freddy Krueger has the ball in hand and proceeds to run it upfield. Leave him there. It's a problem I'll have to deal with. This guy is probably going to get the ball back for him, but nah. Oh well, can't do everything. I'll leave it like that, and we'll see what Zebralicious. Ooh, long time. Excuse me. <laughs> He'll run down. Did a 15 hour shift yesterday and I think it took its toll on me. Nice hit, breaks through the armor and the Joker is stunned. And he gets built around by a Batman. Often enough, he's, he's used to it. <laughs> it does free open, freely leave open a couple of fellows that can now come and try and get the ball back. Use my warning. I'm also very tired. Here comes the crucial blitz. I'm hoping for a push, and I'm not getting what I want. He has done it successfully. Roth Rothor saves the day. Oh! He does better than just save the day. Breaks through that armor and stun Kruger, knocking him back into dreamland. And picks the ball up! What a star player he is! Of course, he's well within striking range. And two, four. Yes, he is within striking range. So there may be a little bit going on here yet. Oh, he's gone for a risky move. Is he going to re-roll it? No. I choose push. I want to push me. See if I care. Oh, moves with me. Probably a 
very decent tactic. These two goblins lying on their ass up here. One of them's playing possum, and the other one's just unconscious momentarily. Ooh, I hope he doesn't move there. That'll be uh, bothersome, to say the least. Oh, that would be horrid. <laughs> He has three seconds, makes his choice. He heads up, heads across the field. Oh, and that's the turnover. Right. Ah, successful. Love it. Knocks him on his ass, which is what we wanted. And a blitz by the cranky ball. And pays off to Knocks him on his ass. The ball trickles off. Is there any bodies? Oh. Can't possibly make it, unfortunately. Moves over, though. And Mr. Green will attempt to knock this fellow onto his bottom and does a fine job at that. Oh, shoulder barge to the face, and Rothak is stunned. Michael Myers runs up the field. He's looking for it. Ah, oh, what the hell, let's have some fun. He goes for it, successfully. Fade so looks around. He's a bit iffy. Oh! He wasn't successful. <laughs> One moth mother goblin rest sorted him out. <laughs> Star Wars Jake. <laughs> Leaving him in a very uh, unguarded, precarious spot. Don't like it. That was silly, Vader. You know better than that. I have to bring Tarkin out to teach you a lesson. See what happens next. Yes, one one re-roll up his sleeve. What's he gonna do? Where are the Randys are gonna chafe. Really, they really do have to chafe. That's nice cod piece. <laughs> well, well drawn by the artist. I'm sure he had lots of fun adding the cod piece. <laughs> well, I have absolutely zero idea why he did that. That was just rather weird. What? Ooh, don't misclick. Oh, that's a good roll. Can you make anything of it though? Bag eat up. Oh! A nasty shot. And Chucky is once again stunned. Hit that sick 
and he put that serial killing doll in his place. Nice pick up. by Gulhag. A nice long bomb. No chance that the Minotaur was going to intercept that. None whatsoever. And it's turn 30. Have a hobgoblin feet. And a blitz is underway. Anyways, the lurker tempts him with a balloon and knocks him to the ground. And the ball flies out of his hands and onto the field. And Pennywise will attempt to pick up the ball. And he does. Excellent work. Meanwhile, the cranky ball gets cranky on the Rothal. Knocks him to the ground and sizes up glue bag. Meanwhile, down here, how much is going on with these sleeping fellows and the Grinch and Mr. Green are smiling? Oh, I think they can't help themselves. Oh, and he's KO'd. That's it for Rockfack. Off he goes. Did the ref see? Apparently not. Excellent work. Green marks the sleepy fellow, and I think we're done. But I know we're done. He has to work quick, he has to pull out all the stops. I would have, I would have got up and blistered him personally, but uh, who knows. Growl, growl. <laughs> is this a blitz? It is. And it's, uh, it's good. He's a blitzer, he has the block skill. That dice means if you have the block skill, you don't fall over. Like that. Oh my goodness. A Blackhawk caught the ball. He rolled a what? Five plus and you're all the five. Well done. Looks like we're looking down the barrel of a zero tied game here so far. The bird bashers still have one re-roll up their sleeve, and I have two apothecaries. <laughs> Nice Griffin. Ooh, he tried. Will he use his free roll? He tried. No, he didn't actually. Ooh. It's the end of his turn.
Game's up. Um, this is not acceptable. Ah. Oh. I've got no rerolls. We'll probably choose the both down results, in which case he will lose the ball, and we are both down. And I don't get the satisfaction of mocking the music. <laughs> and that's that. Turn 14. Think about it. He's got some players, he just needs to bring them to bear. There you go for it. Well, apparently not. taking their time try and come up with a solution to their current problem there's a blitz nope no, he changed his mind hmm But Chucky goes down. He's knocked unconscious. And the ball bounces off the field. It goes off the field again. And lands down yonder way. Fortunately, he's already had his moves in most of those players, so he can't go for the ball. Unless he's willing to take a risky dodge. Now, uh, admittedly, he could dodge to here. And it's only a 4 plus roll, but is that. Oh no, it's a bleed, so he, he's got a good chance of getting there. Oh, dodge, dodge, dodge. No reroll. Think about things there. Stand up. Best to leave him lying down, otherwise he might end up surfing into the crowd. Mm. 
It's a risky maneuver, but he has sure feet, which means if he does roll a one, he can re-roll it. Nope. These guys can also move up. There's really no one left down here to be worried about. Skirt. Oh, he goes wild. Ooh, it's a risky maneuver, but I'm going to try it. For it, to mer for it to work, Kruger. Oh, damn it, he's got an AG of two. This probably isn't going to work. I'm going to dodge and try and pick up the ball. He dodges successfully. Can he pick up the ball? Come on, Myers. Then it's a severed head. He's going to throw it. This is where it's risky. It's a good throw, and he's caught it. He's caught it. There is a touchdown. Run, Kazar Greenskins. I think that's their first touchdown of the season. There we go. Ha, ha, ha. Yes, a bit of redemption there from the fella. Injured with the AG2 and still manages to pull off a catch like that. So there you have it. We take the lead. Doesn't happen very often. <laughs> We've got a few turns to go as well, so it could be a task and a half to score at this late stage in the game. But never say never. Right, I have you over there. You over there. You want, you want a pound on me? You have to spread it out a little bit. There you go, there you go. He's still taking the sleep. Okay then. Nice. Bring it in a little. And that, my friends, is getting saved. <laughs> oh dear. Being, being somewhat old, the Pepsi seems to have gone straight to my bladder. Now I'm just going to let that run for one minute before he sets up. And uh, then the ball will be kicked off, so bear with me guys, I'll be right back.
Welcome back. Notice as I sat down that there was a quick snap roll, which was kind of helpful. Oh, not a bad kick in my absence either. You will, if you watch long enough, see some pro teams line all of their team right up the back for their last turn, so as to protect them from harm. I don't really play like that. Not saying it's not a valid tactic, because, well, it is. But, um, no, I, I've got one more turn to score some star player points, and I aim to make the most of it. So I'm going to try and pick off some people. Meanwhile, the three on the front line don't cop a little bit of abuse, such as that. Wow. Stunned. Yeah, they shouldn't have put Myers up front there, or Kruger for that matter. I need to look after my hoopfuls. Not a bad little blitz either. Oops, stays where he is. Well, if he's lucky, he might be able to pick up the ball and throw it to someone and get a single star player point out of it. Yeah, fish. Fish those valuable star player points while you can, that's what I say. Oh, okay. He ends his turn. Ah, uh, you know you're going to bother getting up. Not right now. Here comes the pain train. Or not. Yes, the option of not. Um, yeah, I'm going to run him back. No point in being in harm's way. Oh, no. <coughs> he had an AG of two. What did he roll? What did he roll? Four plus, you rolled two. Four plus? Oh yeah, it, it is four plus. It's, it's AG2 is four plus. And AG... No, AG... That's weird. That's weird. That should have been a five plus, not a four plus. Mm, maybe I'm wrong. Picking on my big fella.
a long go, but if he can get it off, it would be good. Uh, he's dropped the ball. I think that's the end of the match. It is. I won the match. Good lord. The wonders never cease. Well, well done. Zebralicious. You put up a good fight. I'll say that much. You did put up a good fight. And I look forward to playing you again when you've got a little bit more experience. I'm pretty sure you'll take me next time. Um, I got fan factor. Well, well, woohoo. And Myers gets the MVP and he'll level up because of that. Let's have a quick look over here. Not bad at all, really. Not bad at all. Gabba eats on. <laughs> So there you have it guys, that's the statistics there. Go and meet out the team there. Um, bear with me, I'm just going to reply. So that's the way the cookie crumbles. So let's look at the team roster. Myers the Goblin looking to level up. Um, let's roll the dice. Ooh, I get an agility point. I I really like the idea of that. I really, really do. So, without further ado, I'm definitely taking the characteristic agility point. How do I take the characteristic? Ah, like so. So there you have it, Michael Myers, Agility 4 Goblin. They're coming along nicely. He'll now take up the rear. Not take it up the rear, just take up the rear. And um, be the man who handles the ball. So kudos to Myers. Kruger helped make that possible, of course. Um, and there you go, guys. That's the way it goes. We have 120k in the potty. Um, I'm probably going to get another goblin, but not right now. And that'll bring me up to 80k, and I'll just keep steadily doing that till the roster's full. Once the roster's full, we'll start saving money for more other stuff. Rerolls and more statistics for my pitch for now though guys that will do us um, please like subscribe and comment down below if you really enthusiastically want to get involved with me Patreon's the way to go one dollar a month is all it takes for you to be in the prize draw to win fantastic prizes um, as soon as I've got one more Patreon, I'll start doing that. You have my word on it. No, I don't go back on my word. Not by name, not by nature. So there you go. Um, could be games. In fact, if I can get one more Patreon before September, I think the giveaway that I'll do in August will be to give away an expansion pack for the Blood Bowl. So if you want a copy of Legendary Edition, Blood Bowl expansion pack for those of you who already have the game be a Patreon join join in and you could be the winner 
that being what it is guys it is time to say goodbye so have a great day or night wherever you are in the world as the case may be and don't forget i'll catch you all on the flip side Hey guys, if you liked my show, please show some support by hitting the thumbs up button. Subscribe for more content and visit my Patreon page via the links above. And most important of all, have a great day.